Hello there, Virgos. So uh, thank you for joining me today, and uh, I hope this reading finds you well. I have some uh, images that I want to convey to you, and let me do it fast before I forget. Um, I saw two images, okay? So um, first of all, they're both really amazing images. So I feel like this is going to be a really transformative month for many of you, okay? Um, first of all, I see this, um, this group, this location, okay? It's been kind of, um, reserved to build something. All I see is like people coming in to like manually stamp, stomp down the, the, the ground, the dirt, pack the dirt in because they're prepping it to build something. And it's a large piece of land that is being built, um, that is being reserved to build something, okay? And then next thing I see, I see people coming in like the brick masons, people hauling in huge uh, uh, stones and, and they're, they're cut up into like rectangular shapes and square shapes. So they're all, um, you know, like pristinely or I, I feel like meticulously cut up. And so everything is happening in almost like quick speed, okay? So you fast forward, um, the stonemason comes in, the bricklayers come in, and they lay the, the, the bricks down, they lay the stones down, they put like a, a layer uh, of uh, cement, I guess, as a binding agent to keep the rocks in place. And then the, sta the scaffolds start going up. So I felt like this was gonna be a really, really big um, building that they're building, like a really tall building. Uh, a skyscraper something huge okay and it seemed like it's not in present time and so the scaffold goes up and then all of a sudden they bring in these beautiful stained glass uh, windows and so at the end of it you see this uh, cathedral and they put in the windows they start painting the sides and they start putting in all the details and then it fast forward some more and before you know it the cathedral is completed okay there's a steeple and the bells start ringing on the steeple and people start to congregate and go inside the steeple, okay? It's a really beautiful steeple. It took a very, very long time to build. It's, um, it's built in a way with brick and mortar where it will be, or stone and mortar, um, where it will withstand the, the, the test of time. And, you know, it will withstand the elements and all the details, the intricate details, the glasswork, the um, mosaic glass and the stained glass windows, and even the bells, uh, the, the bell on the steeple. I feel that everything is laid down and done very meticulously because you have like the best of the best coming in to build this monument. And so I feel like this is your legacy. I feel like this is your life. The steeple is your life. It's an, uh, an agam amalgamation of all your life experiences pretty much converging. The brick mason, the people who, you know, set up the scaffold, the painters, the welders, the, um, all the manual laborers that have to come, that, that have to come together. Even the architects, the engineers, they all have to come together to design this. So, I feel almost like, you know, things just don't happen out of thin air, right? We have to visualize something and then we have to, you know, think about how the, the parts are going to fit in the greater scheme of things. And once we're able to work out the logistics, that's when we can start to build something, literally resurrecting, resurrecting something from the ground up and uh, building something of great value, of lasting importance, building a monument and creating a lasting legacy. And so I feel like for many of you, you are that embodiment of that, you know, that, that, uh, mo that monument. Um, I feel that for many of you, um, I mentioned this last month too, that, you know, hardships build character, right? And I feel like throughout your life, you have been tested many, many times um, to test your ability to endure, to test your ability to work hard, to test your ability to say like, you know what, why am I working harder than other people? And we're all like getting the same pay increase or the same pay scale. Why are all more responsibilities always laid on me rather than my co-workers and and things like that I feel like you have been through you know your trials and tribulations and I feel that no matter what Virgos you never sidetrack from your path and your way and your destiny 
and you kept at it and as a result of it all your skills get polished like the, the alabaster stone okay of the cathedral um people really you know um i i feel like people really appreciate your hard work and people really appreciate that um, you have a lot of potential and that you're gonna go really far. So the scaffolding is almost like people allowing you to rise further. People really going in there and really helping you get ahead because they know you work really hard and you deserve to get ahead. And then at the end of it, you know, that, that bell ringing uh, on top of the steeple, I feel like that's, you know, divine source pretty much. Uh, coming in to kind of like putting that, you know, last finish, finishing touch on the Virgo's life to allow the Virgo person to really excel and to really soar, okay? So I feel that somebody might be singing your praise. Somebody might be um, making it known how wonderful and amazing you are. And somebody is like um, retelling all your good deeds all your achievements, all your accomplishments, all the things that you have endured, and they're shouting it off, the, um, you know, from the rooftop. Like, look at what the Virgo person has achieved. So I feel like either someone is singing your praise, um, giving you know really good um, reviews, like rave reviews about you, or they are doing this in a way where they're gushing about you when they're talking about you. For some of you, I do feel this is like a love relationship partner, okay? We have here the Ace of Cups. So someone could be literally singing your praise. Like, um, you might have recently started dating a person, right? And uh, they find out, like, you know, you, you go through your dating spiel and you have a conversation with them and you tell them all the things that you have uh, done, all the places that you have lived, all the... Um, a, all your achievements and it's not in a way where it's about bragging and and things like that because Virgos are very modest you guys don't brag okay uh, in some circumstances when you really like a person and you want to impress them I feel that you might you know um, share a little bit more about yourself but I don't feel like you know bragging is 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 a characteristic associated with Virgo but I feel like through interacting with you somebody is really finding you very impressive um i feel like you know they might be standing right next to you and they feel almost like you're monumental that you are larger than life that you are beyond comprehension that you are beyond belief like too good to be true okay and then for others of you i feel like this could be in a career work environment where somebody is just really um, highlighting your skills, highlighting your assets, and really um, singing your praise, okay? So I feel that there is this energy of, um, I'm, I'm seeing almost like a crowd surfing, you know, like if you go to a concert and um, the, the artist jumps into the crowd and the crowd kind of, you know, lifts him up and surfs him around the room. So like crowd surfing, it's like being on top, being in your A-game, having a lot of people admiring you and... Um, you know, showing you around, displaying you, and and, and 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 praising you, and sharing, singing your hymns, singing your praises um, in a room full of people, okay? So I feel like the energy is very amazing, okay? Um, there's another thing that I saw. Um, so, you know, the, the land is prepped, right? So it's flat and people have been stomp stomping it down to flatten the earth and to prepare it to lay a very uh, solid foundation, right? And then the, the stonemasons come in and they haul, you know, their, um, their blocks of stones and marble and alabaster, whatever it is, from far away, okay? And, and, and just keep in mind, stones are heavy, right? So they've been doing this, you know, and they have to haul all of the stone from a faraway source in order to build this uh, monument, this cathedral. And so when I saw that too, I was thinking like for many of you, uh, life has have, have, uh, taken you really, really far away from your roots. Okay, so I, I feel like somebody who is a little bit of a transplant, okay? Uh, possibly um, you were born in one area and then now you're you have um, migrated and, and lived in another area okay 
I feel for many of you, life might be have been a series of moves, a series of relocation, a series of like you know.、Um, I I almost feel like feeling a little bit like out of your element, feeling like the oddball, feeling like you don't completely fit in. However, I feel that. Uh, the universe has given you these、um, experiences, of, you know, of, of migration, of exodus, of、um, uh, transplant, in order for you to strengthen yourself, in order for you to learn. Because honestly, Virgos, let's just be honest. If you were plopped down in one place, right, and the universe didn't give you opportunities to move, most of you are pretty comfortable where you are, and you will not move. Okay, you might have, you know, grown up with the same group of friends,、uh, gone to the same school, gone to the same high school, had the same、uh, high school sweetheart, settled down, you know, married a high school sweetheart, and life might have just been like stable but very stagnant. Okay, not that there's nothing, there's anything wrong with that. I just feel like,、uh, given your own preference, I feel like you might not really reach for the stars. You might not really, you know. Uh, go big. You might not take these opportunities, and so I feel like for many of you,、uh, life was、uh, in your earlier childhood and in your young adulthood. Life was a series of rapid successions of moves. Okay, having to be hauled in from someplace else, having to migrate, having to relocate. Some of you might have been like refugees. Going from one country to the next, feeling a little bit like on the outskirts, like looking in, not feeling where you fit in, not feeling rooted and and、um, and complete and grounded. Okay, but these opportunities have to happen so that you can be given a different perspective, so that you have,、uh, so that you can learn a lot more. Okay, and so there isn't an accident. You know, things don't happen in.、Um, Things don't. Things were designed. I feel like things were preordained in a way, and you know there is such a thing as human free will. But I feel like there are certain life experiences that the universe、um, might have wanted the Virgo people to 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 have lived through, and I feel like for other signs, the the whole you know、um, disruptive childhood. I feel like. It might have been fun for other signs, but I feel like for you, it was disruptive. Okay, but you're looking back at your life now, and you're just like, "Oh, now I finally understand why that happened. I finally understand, you know, why at that young age I had to do this. I finally understand that these experiences were good for me."、Um, so I see a lot of you coming to terms with the fact that. You are an、uh, amalgamation of your past experiences, and they strengthen you. They gave you a colorful flair to your life, and these experiences were very indispensable in contributing and shaping and and you know polishing and shaping the person that you are today. Okay, and so I feel like. Something major in your life is coming to a state of completion. Okay, it's polished. It has the bell on it, the icing on the cake. It's ready to be displayed to the rest of the world. Okay, it's inauguration day when the bells chime and the people come in to marvel at this amazing cathedral that was, you know, resurrected from the ground up. Okay, with beautiful stained glass window, with all the colors, with all the experiences, with the 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 multitude of hands and shapers, and and all the people that contributed to the formation of this. Okay, and so you have a lot to be proud of. You have achieved a lot. You have overcome a lot. You have learned a lot. And I feel like you're finally in a state where it's complete. Okay, it's complete. Um, some of you, I feel like、um, if you didn't have that sense of community, if you feel like you were uprooted, if you feel like a transplant, you felt like you didn't fit in. Now you have a very solid foundation. Your foundation is is now laid, and it's laid in brick and mortar and stone, and so it is very stable. And so it's a sense of、um, coming into our own, okay. And it's also a sense of like feeling very complete, okay. So. Um, a major 
transition in your life is coming into the picture here we have the death card and the death card is about change and we have as well the three of wands so what i feel here is this is a major change when it comes to your status okay so the three of wands is a situation where we've been waiting for our ships to come in we've been waiting for news messages communication and i'm drawn to this green here on his uh girdle or his vest and then this green bird the birds are messengers they signify messages welcoming good news and and you know something that we have really long awaited for is finally finally here so i feel like this is a change in status change in communication and things like that and so i feel that many of you are welcoming beckoning and welcoming in the news the the new life okay a new lifestyle a new location a new life uh, a new a new course that you are charting for yourself or even embarking on a new phase in your life a new journey a new beginning of something major all right um the other image that i saw it's also very beautiful um i saw a peacock and uh, it's a white peacock but the 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 tail feathers are like shades of green and blue okay so it's really it's really strange so it's a white peacock with really really heavy like a, a whole train of tail feathers that are just like uh spread out um it, it's not erect but it's like drooped down and the peacock is on a fence okay and the peacock is looking at the sky looking at the ravens in the sky and the sparrows um, uh, flying really fast and the peacock is looking at it it's like i want to fly and then he looks back at his tail and he's all like, but this beautiful tail is really, you know, weighing me down. And then he looks back at the sky at the sparrows. And he's just like, I wish I could be like a sparrow with really streamlined wings. And I can fly really fast. I can dart in the sky. I can, you know, move back and forth. And so every day he goes back to, um, he goes to that, that, um, that fence, right? He's on the fence, his tail is drooped down. So he practices flying, like he keeps practicing, but then he's so heavy, the tail is so heavy that he drops back into the ground. So every day he does that, every day he does that. And then it fast forward. And then one day his, um, I guess like after many, many, many months, or after many, many years, his uh, wings are like, I, I feel like, you know, strong enough where he can actually fly, okay? So I don't know the anatomy of the peacock, but it just didn't seem to me like that's something possible for him to do. But he's using the um, the tail feathers to kind of like push himself off onto, onto into the air and he, he, he starts to fly, okay? And so I feel like this is an image that indicates to me many of you are shedding um, burdens, shedding something that, you know, might have been on the one hand very beautiful, but is no longer functional in your life, okay, is no longer functional with your lifestyle, or is no longer applicable to you, is no longer desirable. And um, what I feel for many of you is, is this, okay, we have here the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is um, moving away from something, moving from one location to the next, travel movement, but also leaving a troublesome situation in the past because we are aiming to have a smoother future. We're aiming for more harmony, for more safe passage, for more, I guess, like calmness in our lives okay leaving the drama behind not getting involved in the bickering in the 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 small petty arguments in the um i want to say like you know jealousy pecking i'm hearing like pecking people who um it's almost like they they dwell on all the the positive the, the negative things rather than on the positive and it's like I feel like this might be something coming from you internally as well, where, you know, Virgos, you're uh, seen as, you know, the sign of the, the perfectionist, right? And so perfectionism can be a double-edged sword, right? You aim for perfection. And then if there's like that one little detail that's not exactly right, 
it can also really uh, bring you down. Okay, you want things to be perfect down to the minute details. And so I feel like there's this process here of purging, purging away this way of thinking or way of doing that has really not served its purpose in your life. Okay, where a whole really positive experience can be ruined by just like one tiny detail. Okay, so you're starting to look at the bigger picture. You're starting to look at you know. In the greater scheme of things, does this little, um, uh, you know, smear mark on a brand new car does it really matter? In the greater scheme of things, in this beautiful, on this beautiful like canvas with you know a uh, seaside ocean uh, scene, it's like one little grain of sand that's you know done in the wrong color. Does it really matter? Does it really? Diminish the quality of the artwork as a whole. I feel like you're starting to see the big picture, and I feel that you are also starting to like no longer dwell on the little details, no longer dwell on things that don't matter, no longer engaging with people who are conflict-ridden and like negative, and no longer、uh, allowing the negative thoughts. Oh, I'm not good enough. You know,、uh, they're never gonna pick me, or that person will never want to date me, or I'm not qualified for this. You're no longer questioning these things because you are coming into the sense of you know,、uh, you have been molded and shaped and polished in a meticulous way by people who are kind of like the、um, the masters at their craft, the stone mason, the brick mason, the builders, the the architects. And on top of it all, you know the、um, divine source. Okay, the icing on the cake, the bell on the steeple, and so you're starting to realize, you know,、um, it is a work of perfection. Okay, I don't need to dwell on it, and I don't, I don't need to question it. And so there's this lightness coming over you, where you are no longer brought down with negative negativity, no longer questioning your own capabilities or questioning yourself. And no longer letting other people's、um, bickering and pettiness and, and and things like that affect you. Okay, so I see this protective bubble around you.、Um, we do have a character that is coming in for、um, this month. Okay, and、um, first of all, we have here a fire sign, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. And this is somebody who's very, very good at like.、Um, so two of swords. This ostrich sticking his nose.、Uh, I'm sorry, his face, his head in the sand. Okay. So this is sort of like I'm not making a decision. I'm pretending that it's not affecting me. And this is somebody that refuses to kind of acknowledge the truth, or refuses to budge, or refuses to.、Um, it's like a, a state of blissful denial. Okay, blissful denial. And、um, you might be dealing with a person like this.、Um, they're shown up here as a Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I feel like this person is heavily、uh, looking at you. For some of you, this might be an ex. For others, it could be a family member.、Um, I feel like this is a person that is very curious about you. For some of you, this can also be coworkers, like somebody who's a little bit nosy. I feel, but then on the surface, they try to play it cool. Okay, so I feel like they're wondering what you're up to. They, I, I feel like there's no information between you and them. Um, they want to know what you're up to. They want to know a lot more about you. They want to know if you're single. They want to know if you're, you know.、Um, I wonder if the Virgo has broken up with, you know, so and so. I wonder what the Virgo is planning. I wonder what they're scheming. I wonder what their next move is. So I feel like this person is、um, is kept in the dark. Not because you're keeping them in the dark, but because for whatever reason, they don't have a very direct way of、um, asking for information. It's almost like they want to know certain things about you, but they don't dare ask because they don't want to, I guess, like show their interest. They don't want to show that they care. They don't want to show that they're they're looking, spying. 
trying to get information. So I, I feel like this is somebody that you know might have been on the outs with you. They want to uh, get into they into your life. They want to find a segue back in. They want to find a way to get back in and find out things about you. And I do feel like with this person, um, there might have been a situation where you know you might have. Um, turn your back on them okay so i feel like with the hermit this is a state of contemplation this is like heeding your inner calling um following your own light okay so the traditional rider weight deck uh the hermit is an old man with a, a a lamp okay and he's shining the way for the rest of the world to follow he's providing direction and guidance for other people in this deck, I do feel it's like listening to your own calling, conserving your energy. Um, a lot of the times, Virgo, you know, you embody the hermit energy. You know a lot. You have a lot of wisdom and a lot of insight. And so a lot of the times you care about people too. And so you tell them, hey, 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 you should do this. You shouldn't do that. Or, you know, listen to me. I know what's best for you. And a lot of the times you are right. A lot of the times you are right, but I also feel like, you know, um, I'm sensing that some people, they're not ready to hear the truth. They're not ready to, um, to, to hear the wisdom that you have to dole out or dish out. They're not ready to accept certain truths about their life, and they're not ready to hear that, oh, they have to change, you know, their ways or their course of action. Um, I also feel like there might also be people who find you. I don't. Okay, I don't. So please don't get mad. But I feel like there might be people who find you annoyingly perfect or annoyingly right. And they don't want to listen to you just to spite you. They don't want to listen to you just to, you know, prove you wrong. Like, oh, you know, you don't know everything, Virgos. And so... You spend a lot of time giving people advice, being, you know, the shoulder to lean on, telling people what you should, they should and should not do. And I feel like the advice was well-intentioned, but it might have fallen on deaf ears because the other people, whatever they're dealing with in their own life, they're not, they were not ready to hear, okay? They were not ready for advice. They were not ready for that snippet of wisdom they were like, it's better off and it's easier for them to just be in blissful denial and just, you know, stick their head in the sand and not have to deal with these issues that or these things that you're bringing up because it's just easier, right? And so with this energy, you're not pulling back your energy. You're just like, okay, well, I have this lamp here. I can lead the way. I can show you out of the, you know, the darkness and yet if you refuse to follow me I can't force you and so you're gonna take your lamp and forge your own path and go your own way okay um, so I feel like that's what it is here it's about you know knowing when people are not ready and not sticking around to wait for them knowing when people are like not uh, receptive to what you have to say and not even bothering to stick around to like um, convince them, okay? When the time is not right, the time is not right. When they're not willing to listen, they're just not going to listen. And so we're moving on with that. We don't need to convince society or anybody that we're right, okay? We, we just know, like in our hearts of hearts, we just know. And a lot of the times too, you know you're right and everyone knows you're right, but they're not willing to budge, okay? So exercising a little bit of like detachment and is itself the best form of wisdom, okay? Detachment, so then you're not expending your energy in dead ends, okay? Detaching yourself or detachment so that you're not, um, it, it's like you're not infringing on the other person's uh, timelines or free will, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I do feel for many of you, um, we have another character here, and I, 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 I'm darting back and forth because I feel like each scenario might apply to uh, different Virgos out there, okay? We have here the King of Cups. 
And um, I feel like this person, okay, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who um, is very, I'm, I'm drawn to the starfish on his head. Give me just a moment. There's a message coming in. I feel for many of you, you might have moved away from this person. Okay, so like, um, here's you moving on with your life. Life is happening at lightning speed for you guys. So there's a whole concept about, you know, fasting forward, okay, fast forward. Things are like accelerating, things are moving really fast. There's going to be a lot of movement this month. And so you need to be in best shape and best form. So make sure you get enough sleep, make sure you rehydrate, make sure you feed yourself well. Try to eat on time. Um, I am seeing a soccer mom getting out of her SUV with her soccer kids and she has like a bunch of granola bars in her purse, okay? So her purse is for the office but she has granola bars. So I feel like starving or being low energy, not having enough time to eat, having